Hello, how are you? The title of today's video is C++ Tutorial 1 Unique Pointer Prevents Memory Leaks If you have used the traditional pointers in a large project, one of the headaches is to make sure there is no dangling pointers floating somewhere and deleted that cause unclaimed memory or memory leaks. For a simple and a small project, it's not so hard to hunt down all the pointers and manually set them to null and delete them when no longer used, normally in the class destructor, assuming there is no exception to prevent reaching deletion of raw pointers. But for a complex project, developed by dozens of programmers, this becomes increasingly hard to do. Luckily, there are solutions to cope with this problem. In modern C++ style programming, we should never need to manually delete or free the pointers, thanks to the smart pointers available in Boost library and in Standard library. When you use smart pointers, destructors are automatically caught when objects go out of scope. The dynamically allocated memory will then be automatically released, thus preventing memory leaks. In Boost library, there are several smart pointers available, like scoped, shared, weak, intrusive pointers. In C++ standard library, Auto pointer was defined in C++ 98, but due to its problems of transferring ownership when it's assigned, or can be described as silently steals ownership, and cannot be used with an array of objects and standard containers like list, vector, map. Auto pointer has been directly replaced by unique pointer found in C++ 11. Unique pointer combines the best features of standard auto pointer and boost scoped pointer. In C++ 11 standard library, there are other smart pointers, shared pointers, weak pointer, in this tutorial, I will use an example to prove that when using unique pointer, the destructor will be caught automatically when the pointer is out of scope. In Visual Studio 2017, create a new project. Under Visual Studio C++ Windows Desktop, Select Windows Console Application Template. Change location to C Tutorial. I know this folder exists on my machine. Change name to CPP Console 01. Click OK to create the solution. Run with Ctrl plus F5 to make sure no problem with newly created project. Let's first include some necessary header files, IO stream and memory. To use unique pointer, you need to include memory file. As a starting point, create a class A. To make the code more concise, for demo purpose, delete 
auto-generated code for constructor and destructor. In normal practice, you would use them in the implementation. Write constructor to accept an integer value. Also define a class scope variable mVal in the constructor. Assign the value. Display the message like in class A's constructor. Let me add user namespace standard to fix the identifier is not found error. In the destructor, show message in class A's destructor. Add one more method to return the value we received in the constructor. Now go to entry point main function to use class A in a pointer. Declare a boolean variable b return. Use it in if statement so we arbitrarily create a code block to simulate scope. Declare a pointer P points to class A object. Using new keyword, provide integer 3 required by constructor. If P is successfully created, we do something. If not, give a warning P is empty. In if block called getVal method in class A, this shows pointer P is working properly. Afterwards, before pointer P will go out of scope, let's display a message as marker. After pointer P is out of scope, display another message as another marker. Fix the typo and L. Now the demo program using traditional pointer is definished. Let's run it without debugging. The output shows in A's constructor. And the value equals 3. These are associated with class A's constructor. And calling A's method get val. More interesting part is this. P will be out of scope. and P is out of scope. Have you seen the problem with traditional raw pointer in this test scenario? Yes, the destructor of class A was never called 
because I forgot to delete pointer p, which means there's already a memory leaking in this small program. It doesn't matter too much in this console program. The program ends soon and won't cause a big issue. But suppose it's a program with millions lines of code. Now let's fix it with unique pointer, still without calling delete function explicitly. Comment out the declaration for p. Replace it with unique pointer, followed by type or class name in angle brackets. Here it is class A. Still call it p. To instantiate p, use method make unique, which is available since C++14 standard library. After unique pointer was available in C++11 standard library. Also provide integer 3 to class A's constructor. Starting without debugging, look closer to the output messages. In A's constructor, same as before, val equals 3, same as before. p will be out of scope, also the same. Now the difference in A's destructor. This didn't exist before using unique pointer. It indicates class A's destructor was called. The next message P is out of scope. Before the end of this demo, I want to show you how to find out which C++ standard library is used in the project. Go to Project Properties, open these nodes, Configuration Properties, C, C++, Language. In the field of C++ language standard, from the drop-down list, let's select ISO C++14 standard and run the program again. The output should be the same. Class A's destructor is called. You see, with just one line of code change to use unique pointer, the pointer is automatically deleted when out of scope. Here is the code used in the demo. Part 1 defines class A. Part 2 is the main function of the demo program. Here is a summary of what we have learned. Declare and instantiate unique pointer with type A using make unique method. Unique pointer is available since C++11 standard library. Make unique method is available since C++14 standard library. To set which C++ standard library should be used in your project, go to Project Properties, Language Settings in Visual Studio. The takeaway from this tutorial is to start using unique pointer or other smart pointers available since C++11 standard library in your projects. If you haven't done so, in the next tutorial, I will continue with unique pointer on its uniqueness. Thanks for watching.